In last year's World Cup, the Pacific nations made a huge impression. Epi Taioni was part of the Tongan team that won so many friends in France. It was great for us. It was our best World Cup ever. It's one that we're always going to remember and, um, and hopefully uh, we, we set the benchmark for 2011 and I hope we're going to follow up. On a recent trip back home from his club Harlequins in London, Taioni saw at first hand the current state of Tongan rugby. It's his intention to help ensure Tonga builds on the success of 2007. So this is Fasima Fanga Rugby, the current champion of uh, Tongan rugby. Uh, as you see, facilities, it's a far cry from, from that in, in London. Um, we are preparing for a, a championship in Auckland. And as you can see, the boys are ready for, for training. Quite basic, clubhouse on the right, preparing lunch. Training is late by an hour. There's a lot of things we have to um, first and foremost sort out at home in our structure and system at, in Tonga um, before we can achieve that. But uh, it, it can be achieved. It can be achieved. Uh, it will be a lot of hard work and, and, and from, 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 from the union, from us as players, make ourselves available and, and from everyone in, in the home union. So uh, it should be an exciting time for us. One problem for the national side is that its top players are based overseas. Getting them together can be difficult. The test win window is, is falling different places, you know, in, uh, during the season, and, and it just makes things a, a lot hard. But um, you know, there, there, there is a way that it can be improved. In fact, we can see it in how Argentina improved um, in, in last year's World Cup. Um, they basically base their, their training facilities and everything here in Europe now and they farm their players out in here. So uh, it makes things much easier. Epi has had a nomadic career, playing all over England as well as experiencing life in Japan and South Africa. Now it's England where he feels most at home. This is where I started my rugby up north of England in Tyndale and to Newcastle and uh, yeah, coming back here, it's, it's, for me, it's, I've been here um, since 97. You know, it's, it's because it is my home. Uh, and it's good to be back here. This is where I learn my sports. And, you know, even though I'm Tonga, I always cheer for England, believe it or not. In 2006, the Pacific Islanders, made up of the best players available from Tonga, Fiji and Samoa, last toured Europe. Tyony was part of the squad and believed that lack of preparation left the Islanders with very little chance of upsetting their opponents. In the last Pacific Island tour, we, we just meet up. The team was together here on a Tuesday before the test on a Saturday. I mean, you know, Wales has been preparing for two, three months prior to that and, and us rocking up and, 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 and put a team together on a Tuesday and play on, on a Saturday. You know, it's, it is a bit, it, it, is, it is quite hard in that sense. Um, again, it's one of the things that have to be addressed. The Pacific Islanders are now back in Europe and will once again hope to entertain with their free-flowing brand of rugby. First up at England at Twickenham on Saturday. It's awesome for us as Islanders to, to showcase Pacific Island brand in world rugby. And, and it is a good opportunity for us as, as people to showcase our talent and, and, and what we do have. And, and I think uh, it will be interesting to see uh, how, how we're going to do this year against England. Um, it, sh it, should be, it should be an exciting time. I'll, I'll just hope that uh, it will be a, a great day of rugby um, from both sides. So, uh, yeah, Pacific Island to win by three points.